One of the courses I teach is actually called The Art of Practice, and so I get a lot of questions about practice. I'm somewhat of a nerd about it. Uh, if there was anything I was a nerd of outside of the drums, I would think that it would be uh, how our brains process information, how we learn better, how can I be a better teacher, how can I relay the information better, how can I communicate better, uh, how can I uh, more effectively learn something. Um, those are things that I kind of geek out about in my spare time. And so uh, you can benefit from that. So I've done a lot of research on this type of thing. And uh, so I wanted to give you a few tips for being able to practice longer. I get a lot of people, I've posted some practice sessions on here. You know, some of them are ridiculous, five hours playing the same pattern. Uh, little extreme, right? But some of them are an hour and a half, two hours of actual, you know, it is, it is legitimately high practice every day. And there's extreme times where, you know, I spend hours and hours practicing, but, you know, usually I'm getting one and a half to two hours of practice every day uh, if I'm not having to work on all lesson material. So how can we learn to practice longer? I have people that, you know, I can only practice for 30 minutes and I can't focus anymore. So what are some things you can do uh, better to practice longer? And the first thing is don't ignore the externals. And what are the externals? The externals to me are how much sleep have you gotten? How much have you eaten, drank, etc., so forth? What did you do the night before? So did you go out and have a couple drinks? Or, you know, all of those things affect our practice time the next day. And are we getting enough? recreational activities outside of practice time. You've heard me say it a lot that practice, the amount of practice that professionals or elite in any field engage in is not driven by how much time they have to practice. It's driven by, uh, it's driven by how long it takes them to recover from the last deliberate practice session. So practice is work. It's going to be, it's, it's going to be uh, work. It's going to be effort and that's okay. It should be. But the way our bodies recover are sleeping, eating and drinking, uh, and then recreational companionship. So going to the movies, playing a pickup game of basketball, getting together and jamming with some friends, all those things are recreational. So to me, I start to look at if I'm in a practice session and I'm going, you know what, why am I not focusing? Like, what's the deal? Why can I not get, why can't I practice longer? I'm going to start with these very basic things. Okay, what's my sleep been like the last few days? Uh, and I've just come off of, we got a 15 month old uh, little girl. She's perfect. Just ask me about her and I'll take a couple days and tell you all about her. Um, we also have two other boys, but she's the newest one and she wrecked our sleep pattern for the first year. And so my, my focus and practice times really hurt from that. Uh, but I knew that was coming. That was something I knew that was coming. So I'm going to start looking at, am I hungry? Am, is my sugar low? Like, have I taken in enough calories for the day? Am I dehydrated? What's happening uh, in, in the real, the, the external environment? And that's going to really inform, okay, do I need to take this to the next step in examining what's keeping me from focusing and practicing longer. The second thing I'm going to look at is what are the distractions that are coming in? Because uh, a, a good friend of mine is the president of the University of Arts in Philadelphia, um, and he's also a practice nerd, learning about it, the fundamentals and the functions of it. Uh, and he, he said something one time that really rang true with me, and he said, you know, people think we have to try to focus, and really we need to try to ignore. He said, to focus better, all we need to do is eliminate distractions. So the next thing I'm going to start doing is I'm going to be looking at, okay, what did it look like just before I came into practice time today? What did I engage in? Was there something that distracted me? Am I checking email? Am I checking social media during my practice time? Because those are all internal triggers, distractions. You're going to keep thinking about them afterwards. So I'm going to start to go, okay, I need to roll that back, eliminate that activity, put my uh, you know, phone on airplane mode, get that stuff out of here. I need to talk to the family, tell them I'm practicing. No more distractions. I need to take the TV out of the practice room. I need all these different things that I need to do to make sure so what am I doing? I'm eliminating distractions so that the focus comes naturally. Now, that's the second thing. First thing is look at the externals. The second thing is what is there that I can ignore? What can I eliminate that I can ignore? What are the distractions that are coming in uh, that are taking away from my focus and my ability to practice for a longer period of time? The third thing is do I have any goals? What's the point? You know, a lot of times I, I get in a practice session, I'm going, what's the point? You know, why am I here? 
But then I look back at my goal list and I go, oh yeah, oh yeah, I got that performance in a couple weeks or oh man, I was working on this thing the other day. So the goals are very integral to keeping you in, in, inspired, to keeping you working whenever the going gets tough. And so I always encourage people to look back at their goals and to make sure that they are uh, allowing enough time to plan those goals. You need to have firmly planned goals before you set out and those goals need to be worked backwards. So we need to have two or three 12 month goals and then we need to work backwards from there. What's the material I'm going to work on? Split that material up into manageable chunks and then set smaller goals. What's my three month goal? What's my one month goal? What's my two week goal? What's my one week goal? What's the goal for today's session? And we can do that very easily, but it all starts with those big goals. So the three, the three things I, I would you know, beg you to do if you're having trouble practicing for a longer period of time is look at the externals, what's going on, what can I improve upon there, which is going to improve your overall quality of life, by the way. Uh, and then the second thing is get rid of those distractions. What can I eliminate from my practice time that's distracting me? And the third thing is what are my goals? You got to figure those goals out. And if you're sitting at a practice session and you're like, you know, I got two hours to practice, but I got no goals. Hey, guess what? You got two hours to set goals. That's the best time. That's the best thing you could do in that time. Not play the drums. That's just going to be mindless. Go set some goals and then spend an hour practicing, an hour setting goals, an hour practicing. I'm telling you, the payoff's going to be huge. So I don't know. What are your thoughts? What are three things or what are a few things? What's one thing that has helped you practice for a longer period of time. And is this, if you think this would help somebody else, share it with them, hit that thumbs up button if it's helped you. Um, make sure you're subscribed to the channel, got tons of new stuff coming, always uploading content every week, as well as I'm going live a good bit these days. So click that notifications tab and, that, and then you'll be notified when I go live as well as whenever I put a new video up. Uh, <coughs> a new video up. <laughs> that was so awkward. I um, hope I don't do that anymore. And if you ever need drum lessons, jump over to the website, uh, stevensdrumshed.com that's linked below the drum better daily program is uh, been successful for years and had a ton of members go through it i'd love to help you with a personalized lesson plan or just help you get plugged into a community that really cares about you seeing the growth you want to see but whatever you do i'll see you here in the next video